switch to profile so you can see it. Number one, it's not your head. I see so many wrong movement, people trying to dig in with their head, but there is no return from this position. So it's not the head, it's not top of your head, it's your chin. So if you're going to think about your chin, that you're trying to actually um, move your chin up, that is your first action and this is your first point to show you your chin, not your head because from here no way out yes, so you, when you move your head for example, left, right or left, doesn't matter start to already lift your chin up so you see this area is already stretching maximum number two, it's your chest and with the chest you kind of you have to move your chest and stretch, squeeze your shoulder plates in the back and maximum stretch your chest forward. After that, try to stretch your ribs. So we're going kind of lower to our rib and our tummy area. After that, stretch your hips forward. And from here, you can release your hip back. So it's five points again, chin, chest, tummy, hips, and release. It's important um, to actually release your hips in the end. You don't need to be a, a sit down. You can actually just release the energy on the straight leg, but it has to be kind of like the ending to your weave. One more time. Let's practice together. I will turn in for five as I promised. So we have chin, chest, tummy, hip, and release. It's easiest actually to really sit and release, flick your tailbone back. One more time. Chin up, chest, tummy, hip, release. Very good. Let's practice together. I will turn away from you so we can do it together. And chin, chest, tummy, hip, release. Very good. Now, you can um, practice with just regular head movement, but what I really like that the wave um, we will start not from just the head, straight forward, straight to the point. I like when um, the wave starts with a little bit kind of wind up in the way. So we're going to do very like um, easy exercise. Drop your left ear down. Very good. And right ear down and left ear down. Very good. So we'll start with left ear down. Now from here, we will do a half circle in our head, just down scoop, very good, one more time, left ear down, scoop, chin up, perfect, one more time, left ear down, scoop, chin up, so that's what they call a wind up preparation before the waves, of course you can do it right away, nothing wrong about that, but if you uh, want to 
spend, let's say, one bar or two bars for your weight, and you want to really go deep and make it bigger, start with the wind up. So one more time, lift ear down, drop it down, scoop, chin up, then from here, move your chest, move your tummy, move your hips, drop down. One more time, so that's a fun scoop. Again, drop your ear down, scoop, chin up, chest, tummy, hips, drop your hips down. One more time, uh, slower. Drop your ear down, scoop, chin, chest, tummy, hip, throw. I will turn away from you so we can practice together. And left ear down, scoop down, chin up, chest forward, tummy forward, hip forward, release your hip down. One more time. Left ear down. Scoop, chin up, chest forward, tummy forward, hip forward, release. Now, the body weight, uh, the body weight, you can keep, uh, well, you can keep it split, like 50-50 uh, split weight, or you can play with um, your weight transfer, because that will give you um, much more volume and um, more space for your weight. So when I start my wind up with the ear, my weight is split because I want to be um, balanced and have a strong solid connection with the floor. So it's just weight split, scoop weight split. Now when you move your chest, I'm sorry, chin up, that's the moment, a momentum when you transfer your body weight more on the left the direction where you move your head actually. So in my case, it's my right leg. So I move my chin up, I'm on my right leg. Now I move my chest forward, I'm on my right leg. Now I move my tummy forward, I'm on my right leg. But if you can see, when I move and stretch my tummy, my upper spine is already kind of leaning back. And when I move my hips forward, I'm transferring my body weight already on the back leg and then from here I can release my hip. So my body weight is const uh, not constant, <coughs> it's actually transferring the weight, yeah? So one more time, you have ear split weight, scoop split weight, chin up your weight on the right leg or left, uh, it depends on the direction where you move your head. Now, chest stretch maximum forward, you're on the left, tummy, you're on the left, your hips, when you move your hips forward, transfer your body weight to opposite leg, and release your hips uh, into already seated position on your left leg. Let's practice together. <clears throat> weight split, ear down, scoop, chin up, your weight is going to the right leg, Chest up, tummy, when you move your hip forward, transfer your body weight on your left leg and release your hips on your left leg. One more time, ear, scoop, chin, chest, tummy, hip, change your, <clears throat> release your hips, be on your left leg. Hold on. Let's practice right now together just a little bit faster. So this momentum as a wind up has to be almost like not noticeable. So when you drop in your ear, this movement is going almost the same way. So you have a wind up and you actually bring your chin up already into opposite side. Let's draw one time. One. Chest, tiny, hip, sit. Let's try to practice together. I will turn away from you. And one, chest, tiny, hip, sit. Very good. I think we have to do it one more time. I'll be facing to you and then away from you. 
N. One chest, uh oh, chest, tummy, keep down. And let's try one more time. Away, up, chest, tummy, keep down. Perfect. So, as you um, just remember about all these five points that you always have to kind of um, step by step move it, yes, one after another. It will help you to develop a nice body rolls and body waves. You also can practice with the wall. If you don't really like um, know the limit or you think that you can probably do more, you can stay in front of the wall. I know, I hope it's going to be visible, but let's imagine that the wall is in front of me. So you start with your chin. Of course, you don't need to touch the wall with the chin. Yes, the wall is here in front of you. Now, with your chest, try to reach for the wall. With that, start to reach for the wall with your ribs and your tummy. Lately, transfer and uh, move your hips to the wall. And after, you can drop your weight back on the back leg. So it's easy, <coughs> very easy to practice if you have like some um, um, limitation in front of you. So from here, again, chest, touch the wall, ribs with the tummy touch the wall, hips touch the wall. After that, you can transfer your body weight on the back leg. That's also actually very fun practice at home and you can do it anytime. Okay guys, I'm very, very um, grateful to dance today for this opportunity uh, to do uh, and be with you today, do a live stream class, uh, give you some, uh, share with you my information and give you some love. Thank you so much for having me and comment below, smash the like button, follow Dance Today, follow Dance with Anna. Thank you so much. Dance Today continues to create entertaining and educational content because of the contributions from viewers like you. If you would like to donate to the channel, please click on the Patreon link in the description below. Thank you for your support.